everyone. Welcome to the live stream today. We're going to be getting started in just a second. Uh, let's see who's here first. Welcome Zilly, Secretive, my lovely moderators. Um, I think uh, Ahimang won't be here today. She's got a date with one of the BTS members. Uh, I think it's Suga or something. Um, Lynn Marsh, hello. Yes, I see some of my members here as well. Chris O, oh, welcome as well. Amara Liz, of course, welcome. The first member to comment. Yokshi. Um, so today's lesson is going to be about porida, as you can see in the title. And the prerequisites, prerequisites for today's lesson are really you gotta know the yo form. All tenses, specifically past, past, present, and future tense. So if you're feeling good, you know, you can conjugate regular present tense. For example, kongbu hada can become kongbu heyo, or past tense, kongbu hesoyo, or future tense, kongbu haikoeyo. Then you're totally fine. As well as I'd recommend other tenses. So like kongbu han koyo, hanen koyo, uh, like that. Because in order to use this uh, verb porida we're going to be using, it's used in sentences that are higher than beginner level. So you need to be at least mid-beginner, but I recommend really, this lesson is gonna be more useful for people who are transitioning into the intermediate level, just because the sentences that tend to use porida are higher level. Um, the reason being porida is used for expressing emotion, and uh, it does a few other things too. But because it's used for expressing emotion, you're not going to see it used in any really beginner sentences because it doesn't change the meaning of a sentence, it changes the emotional meaning of a sentence. And because of that, it's not going to be in beginner grammar books. So uh, you don't need to know this form if you're still a new beginner, just letting you know that. But you're feel, feel free to follow along and you can still try to use the form, but it's really more useful. You'll really be able to get more use out of it once you're at the intermediate level, I'll say that. Uh, but we're not only going to be learning porida today, we're also going to be learning some other forms for saying for to forget. Um, in Korean, there's actually a lot of ways to say to forget, and they're all a little bit different. So we're going to be covering all of the main ways that people in Korean say to forget something. Um, really, there's a lot more than just one word. So I believe, let's see, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, technically, six at least. Um, but yeah, there's a, there's a few. So we're going to be covering those as well today. So it's not only porida, or this might be kind of a short lesson. Um, other things I wanted to say, watching while kid is thrift shopping, so not entirely here, all right. Um, other thing I wanted to announce is just a reminder that uh, if you're a Patreon, especially the Patreons who are at the $5 level or higher, so that's a good, por a good portion of the Patreons are, um, check there because if you haven't gotten it already, I have my full personal Anki deck for that I've used for studying Korean, so it's got about I think 1,300 different unique words in it, and uh, they're all they're all stuff you won't find most of them. They're, they're stuff you won't find taught in books, but very useful stuff. And uh, I'll update it as well in the future as I add more things to it. But yeah, you can download it. It's already available. You just have to search the post. It was a couple weeks ago I made it. And a special announcement that I have just launched some merchandise for the first time ever. And um, yeah, I didn't have any merchandise for the entire last almost seven years. Yeah, since I started this channel. It's been almost seven years. This November will be my seventh anniversary of starting YouTube. And I finally have some merchandise. So there's not a lot, but I have some t-shirts, a um, couple posters, some a few cell phone covers. It's mostly, I'll say mostly apparel, mostly like shirts and stuff. But yeah, go ahead and check it out. Um, it's just another way to support me. It's, it's also kind of, I just wanted to have merchandise because, you know, all the cool people, all the cool YouTubers have merchandise these days. So I want to be a cool YouTuber too. So I started merchandise. So yeah, you can check it out. You can find the link right in the description of this video. You should be able to see one right there. And uh, in the future, you'll also be able to see sometimes merchandise will pop up at the bottom of the video if you've seen other channels that have that. But yeah, anyway, check it out if you want or don't if you don't. And let's get started with the lesson. Uh, no, not yet. I'm going to talk with you guys a little more because we're still a little bit early. Oh, Ahimon came here. I told you outed me. 
No, I just I just said you were on a date with Shuga. Was I not supposed to tell? I guess I wasn't supposed to tell you guys that. Sorry. I, that, that was personal. She, those private PMs between me and Ahimong, and she told me that, and I thought it was public information. So, sorry, Ahimong. Um, he didn't out me. I came to chew you out. You're not. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Sorry. I mean, the last time I didn't tell, but this time I, I, I just couldn't. I just couldn't keep it in. Okay. Um, Billy is a cool, you oh, cool YouTuber. Thanks, Noah Deeps. <laughs> <laughs> auction your hats auction my hats um i did want to make a hat i did want to sell like a, a go billy like this type of hat unfortunately they uh the service i'm using it's called teespring they don't they don't have a lot of options to make like the, the stuff they have is pretty good but they don't have a lot of variety of stuff so like i wanted to make like bobbleheads and hats and stuff or uh but yeah maybe in the future but right now it's not really available Fedora hat. <laughs> Jordan Scott says, I'm super unmotivated and at a mid-intermediate level. Well, why are you not motivated anymore, Jordan? Why, what changed that made you no, no longer motivated? Or what motivated you before? So I'd, I'd be curious to know that first before I try to give you any advice. <laughs> Carrie asked, I will definitely order a t-shirt. Do you have any hats? Yeah, I said, not right now. They don't allow, there's not a way to make hats without me just ordering a bunch of them in advance. So no, no hats right now. Crazy hats. Yes, I remember the hat. That was a few, a few weeks ago. We had every donation. Uh, gave, uh, I added a hat. I think we got up to like 12 or 13 hats by the end. You can You can watch that stream. I think it was like three weeks ago or so. Will or should Billy do something like that for this lesson, wearing more hats? Um, I could do hats again. I, 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 if people want. Last time I also did BTS, BTS dabs. <laughs> let's see. Someone recommended. Oh, let's see here. Um, Razzle Dazzle asks, vocab first or grammar first? Um, gra it has to be grammar first. Um, in every situation, you have to learn the grammar form first. Learning vocabulary first never could happen because you can't use the grammar without any vocabulary. I mean, you can't use the vocabulary without any grammar. Um, like if you were to learn, say, all of the colors, you know, paransek, porasek, you know, everything, all the colors, uh, hayansek, uh, and then komjong, even like the colors that don't end in sek. So just every color, chorok. And then you were to say, oh, now I know all the colors. Well, what if someone says, you know, what's your favorite color? How are you going to respond to that? Do you just say, chorok no, I mean, you have to know, you have to know some grammar. You have to know how to say, I like. Well, I like is, you could say, chuaheyo, okay? But now what if you want to ask someone, do you like, you know, do you like this color? Well, you'd have to learn sentence structure to use it. And then what if you were, what if you want to ask someone, what's your favorite color? We have to know the grammar to say favorite. You know, it's not just a bunch of vocabulary words. You also have to know the grammar to go along. So yeah, never vocabulary first, always grammar first. You need vocabulary to you to use grammar in a many in many more ways, but you can't even use it to begin with unless you have the grammar. I was made Jordan, Jordan Scott. I was motivated before because I felt like every day I was becoming more fluent, and now I'm unmotivated because I'm no longer excited. I think I should switch resources. Oh yeah, Jordan. I actually um yeah that's what you're what you're describing to me sounds like what's called the intermediate plateau. I made a video about that. Before, I think last year with my friends, uh, Jeremy from the channel Motivate Korean and uh, Johnson from the, cha the channel Sponge Mind. And you can find that in my Glass with Billy playlist. Yeah. And it's called Intermediate Plateau. So you can re watch it and uh, we talk about that, what it is, how it happens and how to get over it. But basically, um, it happens when you're at a high enough level that the amount of studying you're doing no longer feels like it's having an effect. And it's kind of true. It is not having as much of an effect anymore. And we talk about how you can get over that. And yeah, one thing you can switch up your resources. You can try increasing how much you're studying. Um, but the main thing is just to know you still are improving. The problem is it's going to be harder and harder and it'll continually become harder and harder to see progress once you've hit the intermediate level, even though you are improving just because the amount that you're learning in order to feel really different, the amount that you're learning, it has to be more and more and more to get up to each level. 
So yeah, but yeah, go ahead and watch that video. Maybe it'll help you out a bit with uh, your motivation for it. Because yeah, that's a pretty common issue. Then again, I shouldn't be watching these live streams at midnight. <laughs> yeah. Fluffy Shuga, what's the difference between Tuwayo, Tuwaheo? Tuwayo, yeah, just means good or okay. Tuwaheo means I like it, yes. Um, people sometimes say something is Tuwayo. Uh, what they mean is I like it, by, but they're indirectly saying that they like it by saying that it's good. So what kind, like, 어떤 게 좋아요? 어떤 게 가장 좋아요? Which kind, literally, what kind is the best? What kind of thing is the best? But that's another way of asking someone if they like something by asking them if something is good or not. Or saying that you like something by saying something is good. Just remember that when you use 좋다 to be good, it's not an action verb. So you're not 좋아요, you're not 좋아요ing anything. Uh, don't use the object marker with 좋다, just use a different marker. And to use the object marker with 좋아하다 because you are liking something. Okay, let's get started with the lesson before it gets too late. So yeah, just quick again, make sure you know the yule form and you're at least a mid-beginner. If you're not, then don't worry if you don't get this yet. Um, the other thing again, Anki deck, my personal vocabulary deck is in Anki, is in Patreon. You can get that through Patreon if you're a Patreon member. And check out my merchandise. There's a link in the description of this video as well as uh, you'll start seeing it on my videos in the future too. So yeah. I am probably going to buy myself the KeyCat pillow. So I like, I, I thought that was pretty cute. And if you have any suggestions for new merchandise, like if you buy something and you think, oh, I think this would be good too, then let me know too. I'm still making new stuff. It's just the early stages. So yes, today we're going to be learning about the verb porida. As the title of this video says. So obviously we're going to be learning about porida today. Well, what is porida? First of all, it always means to throw away. To throw away. That's what this means in every situation, literally. And you can use it just like a regular verb. So if you wanted to say, I threw away the trash, you can say, Suregi trash. Suregi de porosoyo. I threw away the trash. Or maybe I threw away um, your Pokemon card collection. You know, whatever you want to say, you can throw something away. Porigo shipoyo. I want to throw away. I didn't throw it. I didn't throw it away. You know, your brother threw that away. Your brother threw it away. You know, anything like that. It's just a completely normal verb, first of all, that you can use any way you want to say throwing something away. So, um, another thing about this verb that's not really in the lesson today, but if you're wondering what the passive form of this verb is, it's not... 버려져다 or something like that. 버려지다. Um, they say 버림. And then optionally the object marker. Uh, actually, let me make that more clear. That's the object marker. 버림을 받다. Um, some verbs become passive. If you remember from my passive voice live stream I did, if you were there, um, by adding 받다 instead of another for instead of a different version so parim literally throwing away this is a nominalization form so nominalized ver version of porida parimer pata literally to receive throwing away or to get pata also can mean to get or receive so to get thrown away you can think of it like that so like uh ga parimer padasoya you know you're not going to use passive voice most of the time you don't need to say the trash was thrown away, right? You just say, he threw away the trash. It's more common to use active voice. But if you did need to use passive voice, porimer pata is the passive form of porida. So that's just good to know because you won't find that, you might not find this in a dictionary so easily unless you're looking for it. Okay. But porida, we're not going to be talking about porida being used to mean throw away for this lesson because that's literally just one verb and we would be done with the whole lesson right now. No. Uh, porida can also be attached onto conjugated verbs to give it a whole new meaning before Disney claims this video. I'll stop there. Um, what it does is taking a, let me first show you how to do it. You take a verb and you conjugate it to the yo form. 
but you don't add the yo. So, for example, if you have hada, and you normally would make it into he or he yo, well, it's just he. It's conjugating the yo form without adding the yo. So, yeah, that's pretty much all you're doing. You it, you do the basic conjugation or the most simple conjugation in the yo form for the verb. So there's other conjugations you could do, but yeah, specifically the yo form conjugation, present tense, okay, just present tense, regular. Yo form conjugation, and you don't add the yo. Then you attach porida and you conjugate porida to whatever tense you want. So you do not conjugate the verb that comes before it, even if your sentence is going to be past tense. This will always just be plain present tense. Squeaky, squeaky. Okay. Let me just check the chat for a second, make sure we're doing okay. Billy, Disney's next princess. Yes. Oh, Oro, what's up? You gotta go? Oh no, that's sad. Oro, I think you're like the leader for the longest time being a member. It shows you've been a member here for eight months of my YouTube channel, so awesome, thank you. I just saw, I can see like that on my screen. Oh, Lou says, which Patreon option has your Anki deck? That's all the $5 and above. So $5 up to the $25 one. Everyone, it, the $1, Patreon gets access to all of these outlines, the outlines for all of these live streams, as well as worksheets for the live streams, which I already posted. So if you're, um, oh yeah, that's right. There's a worksheet. Make sure to check that out too. If you're a Patreon member, all the Patreon members get access to worksheets for this lesson too. So there's just a few problems for there. You can go check it out. But yeah, the $5 and above will get the uh, personal vocabulary deck as well. As well as they get other stuff too, like, you know, higher priority for requests and stuff like that. Okay, so what this does, first of all, when you, when you get a verb and you conjugate it in the present tense and you attach porida, so for example, he porida, what this does is does not, it does not change, yeah, let me, let me rephrase this so I can say it clearly. First of all, this form does not change the meaning of the verb at all. So if you have hada and you change it to he porida, it does not mean anything different than just hada, whatever conjugation you want to make it. So if you were to say he porosoyo, you know, past tense, it has the same literal meaning as just saying hesoyo, you know, standard past tense. He porosoyo and hesoyo have the same literal meaning. So I just want to make that really clear. When you're using this form, the literal meaning of, their, of your sentence, the literal meaning of your sentence is not changing. So that's another one of the reasons why this form is not really beginner friendly, because usually when you're a beginner, you focus first on how to say completely different things. And then later when you get to the higher levels, you learn how to make what you're saying sound more natural, right? So first you'll just say, oh, I like this. I do not like this. I want to go. I did not go, you know, really completely different meanings. But then when you become intermediate, you start learning things like, well, I didn't really want to go, but I did end up going, you know, like that. So this is one of those things that will add emotion to your sentence, but not change the meaning. And now what kind of emotion does this add to your sentence? It can add either good emotion or bad emotion. Wow, how vague, Billy. Wonderful explanation. No, I'll, I'll, let me tell you what this, what this form actually does. So it adds emotion to your sentence. That emotion can be either good or bad emotion. Specifically though, it adds emotion due to um, the emotion that porida adds to your sentence is kind of like saying, totally or completely in English. Okay, so using porida is kind of like you're adding the word completely or totally as an adverb in your sentence. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean that you're doing something completely, like he completely closed the door. He completely finished something. It doesn't have to be like that, but more in the sense of he completely ignored me. Ah, he totally used all of the pencils. You know, I don't know, whatever, okay. So I'm trying to think of these on the fly without using the examples I prepared. 
Um, he totally, I totally just finished all my homework. In this sense, you can add more emotion to your sentence. That emotion can be either good or bad. For example, maybe um, uh, he, let's, let me think of an example. Um, oh, he totally took away my wallet. You know, he totally stole my wallet. Okay, he totally stole my wallet. That's kind of a bad emotion. Oh, he totally just stole my wallet. Oh, he completely stole my wallet. You know, kind of like that. Or you could say, oh, he totally left. Yes, finally he's left. Ah, he totally just, he completely left now. It's kind of like a good meaning. So it can have both a good or a bad. But I will say this, 90% of the time or maybe more, this porida form is used to show some sort of negative emotion. And it's also used a lot when you're complaining about something. Now, when are you going to be complaining about something? This is when you are sad or disappointed. So to restate, 90% of the time that porida is used, it's going to be used for complaining about something that you feel sad or disappointed about. You're, it's just, if you want to keep it even simpler than that, disappointment is a feeling that often gets used with this form, but it doesn't have to be. Like I said, you could have totally for something good, but most of the time it doesn't. It tends to have a negative emotion attached to it. Even though the, the word porida does not have a negative meaning, it tends to more often be used for negative sentences. So this is just something to keep in mind. The reason being that porida itself means to throw away. So if you're doing something and throwing it away, it kind of has that meaning of like totally just doing it, right? Porida. I just, he finished his homework and threw it away. Uh, he just ate my food and threw it away. Kind of like that sort of feeling. So because of that, it most often will have a bad emotion attached to it. So you'll see it most often in bad sentences. But in our examples today, I'm going to show you examples of both bad and good, but you'll see most sentences still end up getting used with a, sorry, a negative emotion. So let's do some examples then. So now I've just showed you how it works, but let me show you some actual examples so you can see for yourself. Our first example is very simple. So, ita means to forget. So we have, ijosoyo, I forgot, or ijo poryosoyo. You'll notice with porida, there are some verbs that it'll often come attached to. Now, this isn't a super long list and it's also not like three verbs. There are a lot of verbs you'll see porida attached with very commonly and ita to forget is one of them. In fact, ita is so commonly attached to porida that you'll more often see ita forget as in forget information. You'll more often see it attached to porida than you won't. So the sentence is ijosoyo. The sentence first of all, ijosoyo is our first sentence. It just means I forgot. Ah, ijosoyo. Oh, I forgot that. I forgot that. Now we have, oh, I totally forgot. Hopefully this totally or completely translation kind of feels a little bit more intuitive now that, that you've seen it in a sentence. So it doesn't, if you tell someone that, oh, I totally forgot, you're not really saying, in English anyway, you're not really saying you forgot everything about it. You're kind of more emphasizing like, oh, like, yeah, I completely forgot, right? It doesn't really mean I forgot 100% because if you did, then you would not even be able to recall that you forgot it, right? You say, oh, your birthday. Oh, I totally forgot. That's right. Your birthday's today. Oh, I'm so sorry. I completely forgot. Really, you're not really saying you completely forgot something. You're just saying you're expressing your negative emotion here. In this sentence in Korean, what you're doing is you're expressing your negative emotion that you forgot something. So, ah, oh, I threw it away. I threw away my forget my forgetting, kind of like, you know, doesn't really mean that. Just kind of think of it like this negative tossing something, you know, like you just get this forget, you just get this information and you just yeet it away. And now you totally forgot. So, oh, I just ah, totally forgot. In this way, 
This form is kind of similar to... So, in addition to just saying totally or completely, another way you can think of this form is like this. So I, I'm not very good at drawing. So we have a person here throwing up their arms like this, like, ugh, whatever, right? This is also kind of the emotion that you add when you use porida in a negative usage. So it's kind of like saying, ugh, I forgot, right? I'm trying to come up with some parallels to English for how this form changes the meaning of a sentence. But yeah, so it's kind of like saying totally or completely, although not literally like the words completely, not quite. And it's kind of like just like throwing up your hands, you know, like when you're just, oh, whatever, I'm disappointed, I can't believe it, whatever, you know, totally, ah, oh, oh, forgot. So that's the difference. Whereas you just say it's just, oh, I forgot. Ah, uh, ijoseyo, miyaneyo, I'm sorry, I forgot. Um, this one's ijoboreseyo, oh, I forgot. I totally forgot, sorry. Like that. So this is just our first sentence, um, but hope, but I think it's pretty good for illustrating the difference between just a regular sentence and one that uses porida. Um, while you look at this for a second, I'm just gonna read the chat, see how we're doing. See here. Nice drawing, Billy. Thanks. Oh, um, someone asked, can you say, well, you wrote appa. Appa, appa, porioyo means I'm throwing away daddy. Uh, so careful of your spelling. Appa should be a P up, the, the strong letter. But you cannot use this one with um, <clears throat> um, descriptive verbs. In fact, using this with the descriptive verb is a type of dialect, but it's not a normal usage. So don't use this with descriptive verbs. This is only with action verbs. Oh, I did. I actually wrote action verb already on my paper. I don't know why I didn't write it here. The reason is, well, it kind of also wouldn't match the explanation I gave you. You wouldn't say um, I totally am sick. I completely, I guess you could in English. Okay. That's a bad example. Only use it with action verbs. <laughs> I'll say that this is only for an action that you're completely or totally doing, or you're like this, ah, you know, for an action. So only actions, not descriptive verbs. So you wouldn't say apuda to be hurt with this. What dialect? Uh, if I remember correctly, I think it was Chungcheondu. I'd have to check. Like kind of like Southwest uh, Korean, one of them anyway. But it's also not used with porida. They do a they do a purida, I believe. I'm just trying to remember that. Oh, Noah, you wrote kabanger ijo. Nope. Remember that I said ita. And we'll talk about this again after our explanation of porida. Ita is to forget something, like a piece of information. You're not going to forget your bag with ita. We'll talk about how you can say you forgot your bag, kabang, um, using a different verb. But first, we're just going to be doing ita here, which is forget like information, forget about something, forget about someone like that, but not forget an object, which actually doesn't mean you forgot it just means you didn't bring it or you lost it or something like that. So we're not going to be talking about that yet. So yeah, it does only for information. Okay, let's do our next sentence. Let me see if I can have you guys do this one. Is it something I can give something? Oh wait, no, this is way too long. I can't give this to you. Here, let me let me see if I can change my, change the order of these sentences so that I can give you something. <clears throat> oh, okay, here I can do this one. Okay, Charsu. Finally left. Oops, finally. Finally left. How would you say this? Charsu finally, char, like this. Charsu finally left. So this is the kind of meaning that you get for your sentence. For finally, I want you to use, well, you're gonna use to deal, 
to dio means finally, at last, you know. Um, there's another word that's similar to finally, but it's not going to be the one we're using here. So let's use to dio, finally, like at last, finally, to dio. And left, you can just use kada, use the verb kada, to go. You could use nagada if you want to be all fancy, but we're just going to use kada to keep things simple. <clears throat> so how would I say tersu finally left? Iroborida doesn't mean forget for things, Tiffany. Irta means to lose. Like you lose, you lost your wallet. That's a different verb. Yes. Ah, you wrote charsu. I'm very list. Lu, charsu ga tidio nagaboryoseyo. Tidio charsu ga kaboryoseyo. Finally, charsu left, okay? Charsu tidio kasoyo. Ah, remember we're using borida. Yeah, left. Finally. Yes, sure. So yeah, for this you can say and you can say it other ways too. For slaying, I'll just tell you, it's kind of fun. Uh, you'll often see to dio written like that. This one's just slang, so you know don't do this in your essays, but you'll see it often. To dio, naga, or let, or just use ka. Keep things simple. Kaboryosoyo. Charsu ga to dio kaboryosoyo. Charsu finally left. Charsu finally left. So that's the meaning that we get. So here, you don't even need to translate it as Charsu finally totally left, right? You don't even need to say totally or completely because it, it can sound awkward in some English situations. But the feeling of this, you guys understand this. In this situation, this, you probably could perfectly understand this sentence. Is this a good or a bad meaning? We don't know. But we do know Charsu is a big jerk. You know, Charsu, no one likes Charsu. So this is a good feeling. Ah, Charsu ga tudio, kaburyoso. Charsu finally left. Ah, like that, right? So this is good in this case. But maybe it's not Charsu. Maybe it's um maybe they're not finally leaving. So if you say if you say finally, it kind of sounds like a good thing, right? But maybe it's, you know, maybe it's Billy, okay? Maybe it's me. Billy ga kaburyoso. Ah, Billy ga kaburyoso. Billy totally left. Ah, you know, then in that case it's complaining. You're like, "Oh, Billy left and I'm disappointed." Disappoint, you know, you're showing that you're disappointed. You're showing just that you have more negative emotion about something. You're showing that you have emotion about something that happened. And again, notice that although it's Billy left, kada only becomes ka, not kaso porida or anything like that. It's only ka. It only becomes the present tense yo form conjugation. So keep that in mind. But good, you guys did really good. I found a bunch of uh, spelling mistakes, but if the worst you're, if the worst mistake you're making is spelling, you're on the right track because even Koreans mess up spelling. So um, that's totally fine. You guys are doing really good. Let's do the next sentence. I'm going to give you this one because it's a bit long. Kidarigi from kidarida to wait. So kidarigi means waiting. Himderda to be difficult. Kidarigi himdoroso. It is difficult to wait. Therefore, sukte homework. There, someone's doing homework. Bonjo. First, as in before anything else. This is a good verb. This is a good adverb to know. Before anything else. Before anyone else. Before anything else. Bonjo. Gunneda means to finish something, active voice. So you are finishing homework. Not homework finishes, but I am finishing. I'm making it finish. Gunne. I'll just write down here because there's no space here. Boryosoyo. Kidarigi hindroso. It's so hard to wait. It was so hard to wait. So I just finished my homework first. 
So maybe you were waiting, you told your friend uh, Tarsu that you guys are gonna do your homework together when he gets home. And he's supposed to be home at three o'clock, but it's already eight o'clock. So you're like, ah, 기다리기 힘들어서 숙제를 먼저 끝내버렸어요. It was so hard waiting, I just finished my homework first. Like, I'm so disappointed. I said, I already finished that. I just totally finished my homework first because it was so hard waiting. Seriously, Charsu, you promised we'd do our homework together and it's eight o'clock already. I don't have time for this. So that's the sentence we get. So it was hard waiting, so I just finished the homework first. Um, if you're having a difficulty with the first part of the sentence with Kidarigi Himdoroso, just think of it without this, but Honestly, if you're having trouble with this part, then Porida is probably above your level right now. But if you still want to follow along, then just remove this part of the sentence and think of the rest of it. So, I just finished my homework first, you know, before Chartsu in this context. Okay, let me just check the chat for a second. Do, do, do. Someone asked, oh, someone's asking a couple other questions. So well, one other question I see, but uh, I'm, can you explain the contraction? I'm not gonna be explaining other topics today because we have to get through this lesson, but you can ask that after the lesson's over. We can, I usually take questions afterwards. Okay, let's do the next sentence. I am sad because I lost my cell phone. This one is, okay. This sentence is intermediate level, I'll tell you that. But if you're intermediate, please try it. I'm so sad because I lost my cell phone. No, not cell phone, let's say wallet. Okay, I lost my wallet. So lost, I will tell you we're gonna use uh, I, always, I just had a brain fart there. Okay, I was like, how do I spell lost? I'm like, wait, that's like super beginner level. Okay, irta. So, lost, we're gonna use irta. Irta is to lose something, not to forget something, as someone had written in the chat before. To lose something, you know? Um, so, I'm so sad because I lost my wallet. Now, we're gonna be using porida on a verb in the sentence, so you have to figure out which word should we use porida on. And what other, what other grammar forms are you going to use in the sentence? I'm just curious. So again, this is for all you intermediates watching. Uh, if you're a really beginner, try it. But uh, yeah, if you get it, that's great. But it's, it's a definitely intermediate level. Let's see who's got this. Handphone Oh, Dr. Nutria, nice. Although I changed it to self, I changed it to wallet. But your original, uh, the original thing I had written on the board would be correct for handphone. Tangap, I lost my gloves. I'm so sad I lost my gloves. Tangap, when I was a when I was a brand new beginner to Korean, I often confuse the words tangap and jigap because they have kap at the end and they're both things that you kind of carry around. So tangap is gloves and jigap is wallet. But you could be sad for losing your gloves too. Maybe they're really pretty gloves. Jigap will lose. Ah, uh, Tiffany, watch, watch my video on the Saul form, which I think was one of my first live streams. Um, I talk about how it cannot be used with past tense like that. The rest of your sentence seems nice. 제 핸드폰이 잃어버려서 제 핸드폰을 You have a S-I-I-N-A-H-K. If you lose something, you're losing something. So it is not being lost. So you are, you need an object marker to mark the object that you are losing because it's an action verb. My, be my, me as well. Watch my live stream on Seoul because I talk about how it can only be used in present tense. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna read to see who, get, who got it right. Because I, I see some, some people who are beginners attempted it and that's great. But uh, it takes a long time to read those. So let me just check. Purple cat. Perfect. Ah, Emeril is also. You got to Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to You got to switch the past tense. It only uses um. Poryosol, not poryososol. Chris. Oh, perfect. Oh, Noah Deeps as well. Present tense. 
지갑을 잃어버려서 슬퍼요. Nice. 지갑? A uh, lifer. It's a 지갑. But really close, close. 지갑을 잃어버려서 And you wrote 나무 슬파요. 나무 is tree. You want 너무. The tree is not sad. You're sad. And 슬퍼요. So just some spelling mistakes. Your, your grammar though is fine. But just some spelling mistakes. Lifer rhymes. <laughs> Mary Lara, you have the present tense, Irki, because I lose my wallet. You want past tense because I lost. Okay, I'm gonna give you the answer here. And although we're not gonna be doing a lesson about solve form today, I will give a quick explanation about it. So, because I lost my wallet, we're going to use, we need wallet, Sigap. Now, you could say ne chigap or take chigap, but it's not necessary in Korean. You don't need to use pronouns unless it's vague. Chigaper, irta to lose your wallet. So now we are sad because, so we want because. Well, with emotions, often the sole form is used when you want to say I'm happy or I'm sad or I'm sorry or any sort of emotion. With because, you'll want to use the sole form. You don't have to, but that's the best form to use, the most natural sounding one. So. 잃어 버리다 so 버려서 now notice that it's not 버렸어서 this 서 form only goes on the present tense conjugation it never goes on the past tense ever ever 100% yeah <laughs> so 잃어 버려서 and then you can say 너무 or whatever you want to say 정말 아주 슬퍼요 so I am so sad 슬프다 슬퍼요 너무 슬퍼요. I'm so sad because I lost my wallet. Now you might say, well, I wanted to say lost, Billy. There's no past tense. You're just saying, I am sad because I lose my wallet. And yes, that's how they say it in Korean. I am sad because I lose my wallet, not lost. It is easy though to, un that sounds awkward only in English, but in Korean, it's perfectly natural to, to express you are sad because you do something not because something happened. If you need to, if you needed for some reason to emphasize that it's the past tense, you won't. But if you needed to, like say you're translating a sentence from English to Korean one-to-one -one and you're teaching a translator and you really want to teach him, then just use the 때문에 form instead. Cause you can say, you could say, 이렇게 때문에, you know, you could do it like that, but it sounds unnatural. For most Korean, for con for casual, sorry, for conversational, for normal everyday Korean, you'll just use tall form. So, 잃어버려서 너무 슬퍼요. Now, we could have also just said this. 잃어서 슬퍼요. 지갑을 잃어서 너무 슬퍼요. I am sad because I lost my wallet. And that's perfectly fine too. I am sad. I'm so sad because, but there's no this. I'm so sad because I lost my wallet. Okay, that's it. But you want to express your like, I just lost, I lost it. I'm so sad I lost my wallet. You know, you want that, I totally lost my wallet. Oh, if you want to add that emotion, then use porida. But you don't have to, because as I said in the very beginning of this lesson, porida changes, porida does not change the meaning of the sentence literally at all. But yeah. So the only thing I noticed was several people using the saw form with past tense. Um, so I would recommend watching, re-watching my lesson on saw or just remembering that it doesn't ever go with past tense. That's fine too, if you don't want to watch the whole two and a half hour live stream. Okay, next sentence is, I just, hate, I just hung up the phone. I just hung up the phone. So to hang up the phone, you'll use gun. Ta, gun ta, and phone they use tona, just tona. Tonar gun ta is to hang up the phone. Just you can use kunyang. That, that's probably my fault for trying to write it so high up. Okay, I just hung up the phone. I just hung up the phone, or he just hung up the phone, or Charsu just hung up the phone. Any, you can be creative with it, with it if you want. So how would you say I just hung up the phone? Oh, I just hung up the phone. I didn't want to talk to him anymore. He was so annoying. I just hung up the phone. So how would you say that? Sleet stalker. 지갑을 잃어버린 탓에 
Um, it's unnatural, but yeah, grammatically okay, but unnatural. Mary Laura asked, is it okay to just say, Yeah, that's fine. But then what you're saying is not, I'm sad because I lost my wallet. All you're saying is, oh, I lost my wallet. I'm sad. So it's two sentences. It's not connected. But yeah, it's, it has a different meaning, but you could say it. You say, oh, I lost my wallet. Oh, I'm sad. Right? It's a little unnatural, but you know, it's not bad. Yeah, perfect. 그냥 전화를 끊어, 끊어버렸어요. 그냥 전화를 끊어버렸어요. Perfect. Or you could also put 전화를 그냥 if you wanted to move the 그냥 over there. <laughs> 찰스가 말이 많아서 그냥 전화를 끊어버렸어요. <laughs> 찰스 just, 찰스 talks too much. That's how you say a person talks too much. You say 말, 말, words, 말이, 말이 많다. So to have lots of words. 말 많다. 너무 말이 많아서 그냥 전화를 끊어버렸어. 빌리가 전화를 그냥 끊어버렸어요. 그냥 전화를 끊어버렸다. Okay. 전화를 그냥 끊어버렸어요. 전화를 그냥 끊어버렸어요. 그냥. Uh, Carrie Rich. Just typo there with 그냥. 전화를 끊. Ah, and you wrote 끊. You're also another typo with 끊다. It should be 끊어. I think you just missed that key. 남친이 이젠 전화를 끊어 어 for S I I N A H K. What's your name mean? 시나하쿠. It's alien. 저는 그냥 전화를 끊어버렸어요. Okay. 그냥 전화를 끊어버렸어요. Nice, nice. Kimberly Barrios asked, "Where do we put Pony?" Uh, you you probably missed the whole lesson up till now, so maybe someone else can explain it. <laughs> 말 많다. Yeah, 말이 많다 is common. More common than 말 많다. Just 말이 많은 사람. 말이 많은 사람. Someone with lots of words, literally someone who talks a lot. Or if you pronounce it, uh, depending on your context, it could also be 말 horse. So 말이 많은 사람 means a person with a lot of horses. If you're trying to make a, a dumb pun, you could probably do that. I actually made a video recently about Aze um, Gegu. Um, about Korean, what would you, what would that be called? Dad jokes, Korean puns, you know, word play on words. I made a joke about uh, a video about those jokes that I'll probably be uploading in a month or so, and that was, it turned out really funny. Okay, so, 전화를 그냥 끊어 버렸어. Or, 버렸어, yo, if you want to be more polite. So, 전화를 그냥 끊어버렸어. I just, uh, I just hung up the phone. I just totally hung up the phone. You know, I didn't want to talk with him anymore. Uh, or he did. I can't believe it. He just, I uh, just totally hung up the phone. Like, we were in the middle of talking, and then I asked him, uh, what does he think about telling his friends that we're dating? And he just totally hung up the phone. I can't believe it. Okay. Next sentence. Is this one that, is this another one that I can give you guys to do? Like going through each of them. <clears throat> oh, um, if you were here for last week's live stream, then you can do this one. But because probably not a lot of you were here last week's live stream, and last week's live stream definitely had an intermediate lesson in it, I'm just going to give it to you. TV를 보다가, remember last week we learned 가, 다가, like this. TV를 보다가, TV or Podaga, this is just TV. TV or Podaga, while watching TV. So this Taga is while, remember, as we learned from last week, it's while when the next action interrupts the previous action without it finishing. So we have, I fell asleep while watching TV. Chamdirda is to fall asleep. TV를 보다가 잠들어 버렸어요. I just I, I totally fell asleep, you know, last night while watching TV. So someone says, "Hey, where were you? You know, you're supposed to come to the bar at 11. We were all there." 어제 TV를 보다가 잠들어 버렸어요. 
I'm sorry, guys. I was watching the TV, and while I was watching TV, I fell asleep. So in this case, it's also a negative emotion. And most of the sentences you'll find are going to be negative. So like I said, doesn't mean that it has a negative emotion in it, just it typically tends to get used when you're expressing a negative emotion. And I mean, in general also, people when they show strong emotions, when is, when do people most often show a strong emotion in any language, in English as well? Well, yeah, when we're happy, sure, but most of the time it's when you're angry about something, when you're frustrated. That's when you get emotional really, like, you know, a lot. Most people, when they're happy, they're just, oh yeah, you know, I'm pretty happy. Oh, that's great. Oh, thank you. That's great, you know. But most of the time, if you get emotional, it's because you're angry or frustrated at something. Um, so yeah, it just tends to get used more often when people are frustrated, disappointed, or sad about something. Okay, the next one is, I just finished all the pizza. This one you guys can try. Now to say all of something, you just use ta. All, ta means completely, as in the actual meaning of completely, all of it. And it's an adverb. So you can use ta, and then finished, as in finished pizza, I finished the pizza, you're actually saying finished eating. So you're gonna wanna use bokta. In English though, you don't have to say eating, you can just say finished, right? I finished the pizza, but Korean, you're gonna have to say finished eating. And, ju and just, if you just recently, completed something, you can say akka, as in a little while ago, or you can also use pangum, as in just right a sec, like one second ago, I just finished eating the pizza. But we're gonna use akka. Akka is just a, just a bit before, just earlier. Just like, you know, just, but not like right now. It's a little bit earlier. I just finished it, you know, you know like a 30 minutes ago before you came in. So how would I say this? I just finished all of the pizza. I just finished all the pizza. Ah, I just totally finished all the pizza. Let's see what you guys got. Oh, and last week, when remember when the comments weren't loading? That really was just a YouTube bug, because now they're totally fine again. I didn't do anything different. Okay. Pangum? P Paji? Oh, you wrote Paji. <laughs> Paji. If you had wrote Paji, although you wrote Paji, but if you wrote Paji, it just means I ate all of the pants. Although you wrote paji, but yeah, pizza. Switched those vowels around. Aka pizza ru ta bogo borosseo. Aka pizza ru ta bogo borosseo. Perfect. Chriso, no deeps, you got it too. Tega pizza ru aka ta bogo borosseo. Perfect. C e e e na hek k. I can't read your name. Pangum pizza ru ta bogo borosseo. Yeah, you can. If you want to change it to pangum, that's totally fine as well. Just like I said, pangum is like right a second ago, just like right now. I just finished. And aka is like you know just a little bit, just a little before, a little earlier. From now. Aka pizza ta bogo borosseo. TS, nice emoticon there. Uh, Livia, tell him pizza ta aka. Ah, you want to use aka time. Adverbs will go earlier in the sentence, usually toward the very beginning or directly after the subject. I did a live stream about sentence structure where I talk about that as well. So you'd want to say aka in the beginning, like aka or tonen aka. Kimberly, pizza ta bogo borosseo. Nice. 아까 피자를 다 먹어 버렸다. Nice. 아까 피자를 다 먹어 버렸어요. 제가 피자를 다. Carry rich. You want to have 다 since it's an adverb. It needs to go directly before the verb. In this case, the verb is 먹다 to eat. So you'll say 다 먹어 버렸어요. After pizza. 아까 제가 피자를 다 먹어 버렸어. 미안. <laughs> Ultimate nice. 막다 먹었다. Okay. 막 is a slang word, but that that's fine too. 아까 피자를 다 먹어 버렸어요. I would do more slang. I just, I need to make the level, like I need to make sure that the live stream is understandable to as many people as possible. So it's usually like early beginner or high beginner to early intermediate for most of the lesson. So that's why you don't see a lot of slang being covered in my live stream. Cause I want to make sure everyone can follow along. But yeah, mock's mock, good too. Okay. <laughs> Miane, okay. Tiffany, though, you used mogo porosoyo. Tiffany stay made my day. But then at the end you have mian he. So your politeness levels don't match there. So you'll wanna say you'll wanna change it to Pego Paso Pizza Ta Bogo Porosso Miane or Bogo Porosso Yo Mian He Yo. Like that. Just wanna make sure they match. 
Agirita Liu. <laughs> Charsu just just ate all. Dang it, Charsu! Charsu just totally ate all the babies <laughs> again. I tried to stop him. He got into the the baby storage room. They're all gone. Okay, so for this sentence, we're gonna have. Pizarre, uh, aka, pa, mogo. I just finished eating all of the pizza. So I just I just totally finished eating all the pizza. Sorry, bro. I didn't save any for you. Sorry, bro. Yeah, I just had all the pizza. Yeah. The pepperoni. Yeah. Yeah, that surfer character from Spongebob. Hey, Spongebob! It's totally, that guy's totally from uh, my home city. Probably uh, Santa Monica or maybe down the OC a little. Totally know people who talk like that. Okay, Kati oh, let's do this one, yeah. Katin Dorer. We gotta get Ahimong to update the Instagram, the Go Billy Korean live stream Instagram. I've given so much, given her so much material for that. She's gotta update it. <laughs> I gotta bug her about that. Han Tai. I'm sorry. There should be a space here. I'm just writing it together. Han Dal Dongan. 같은 노래를 the same song. 같다 means to be the same. So 같은 means same song. 노래 한 달, one month. Tongan four. So same song for one month. Kezo to keep as in continually. Turo so so listen. So so therefore. And then chirida, where I'm just gonna write it conjugated, but this this comes from oops. Chirida comes from, sorry, chiryo comes from chirida, which means to get tired of something. To get tired of, to get sick of something. And typically they use this with a, they use this with the two. Or if it's a person, they'll use it with ege, as in to a person. So a for an object or ege to a person. If you're curious how to use this outside of the sentence. So chirida is to be sick of something. So chiryo poryoso. So, Ahimong's playing the same BTS song on repeat. Now that's great, but she's been playing the exact same song. 같은 노래를 한달 동안 계속 들어서. She keeps listening to the same song for a whole month. 질려 버려 버렸어. 질려 버렸어. I'm sick of it. 같은 노래를 한달 동안 계속 들어서 질려 버렸어. I'm sick of it. She's been listening to that same song. She keeps listening to that same song for a whole month, and I'm sick of it. Ah, so I'm com I'm totally sick of it. Like that, you know, you got this totally. Put throw your arms up. I don't know. Pick whatever your least favorite BTS song is and l play that on loop for a whole month. Your roommate will get sick of it too. Okay. Let's check the chat here. Make sure you guys are doing okay. LOL, no, we don't chill it BTS songs. Come on, there's gotta be, there's gotta be something. Like, I'm like a really big Michael Jackson, Michael Jackson fan. I have like, uh, except some rare stuff. I have all of his songs. But there's even some Michael Jackson stuff that I'm like, meh, it's not too great. So maybe something like that. Even though I like, you know, he's got so much stuff I like. There's a couple I'm like, eh, okay, yeah, it's not too great. Like a demo song or something like that. If Ahimong were here, she would say, no, never. Well, guess who's not here right now? Hmm? It's weird. I'm watching this lesson. I can't say one sentence in Korean. Why are you watching this lesson? <laughs> Go watch my uh, other lesson I teach about, like, how to do uh, Hangul sound change rules or how to conjugate the yul form. One of my basic ones. I don't know. Maybe I can do a live stream where we just learn Korean from the very beginning. Like, one thing at a time. Okay. Charsu should be an inside joke. Should be on the merchandise. Yeah, maybe we'll make a Charsu a char hate 
t-shirt. <laughs> but then but then I feel bad because there'd be some you'd legitimately wear that in Korea and there'd be some guy walking by and his name's actually Charsu and he'd be like start crying. <laughs> he'd like see that shirt and he's like, why do they hate me? So Charsu is a real Korean name and there are some people named Charsu. It's just it's an older name and it's not common these days. Okay. Um all right. Let's go on. Let's see, how are we on time? It's 2.50. I'm actually behind on time, but it's okay because this is the only thing we have to do today. After this, I only have one more small thing. Okay. Let's do this sentence. Okay. I'm going to go crazy if I can't go home today either. So, 오늘도... 오늘도, today also, 집에 uh, 갈수 없다면. I did this 다면 form when I covered if and when. So check out that live stream if you don't know this 다면 form. 없다면, 정말, really, 정말 미쳐 버릴 거야. So now we're going to work with 버리다 in the future tense. Before we were just using porida in the past tense, but you can also use it in the future tense. You can, you can also use it in the present tense, but it's not that common. But yeah, future tense is totally fine too. Micho is comes from michida. Sorry, I wrote this wrong. Michida. Michida means to go crazy. Like it could be psycho crazy, or it could be just like, you know, you're going crazy about something. So, 오늘도 today to 집에, to home, 갈수 없다면. If Let's just say hypothetically, if I cannot go home today either, 정말 미쳐버릴 거야. I'm just, I'm totally gonna go crazy if I can't go home today either. So, you know, I, I couldn't go home yesterday. Ah, 자, 오늘도 집에 갈수 없다면 정말 미쳐버릴 거야. I'm totally gonna go crazy if I can't go home today either. So there we have another sentence. So notice, 버릴 거야. So future, I will go crazy. But even though it's future, 미치다 still just becomes 미쳐. You probably heard Micho in like a song, like Micho, Micho something, I don't know. Mi just don't. Uh, it, it's also part of a swear word, so don't just play with this. Be careful when you're using this verb, I'll let you know. But in this context, Micho Borida is totally fine to go crazy. Okay. I'll just know that Michida can, can be a bit strong. So it's not just like a regular word like, oh, you crazy girl. It's not like that. It's like you are crazy, legitimately psychopathic. But it can be also used in regular sentences. So just be careful when you're using bichida to mean crazy. And that it really means crazy, not like uh, just that, oh, I'm crazy about that food or, you know, you're crazy, man. Don't use it like that. So be careful with it. But if you really mean to say crazy, like, oh, I'm just going to go crazy, then it's fine. Just so you know, if you use it in other situations or call someone that, uh, it can be very insulting or even part of a swear word. So yeah, just be careful. Go Billy swears. Someday it will become a reality. Okay, um, the teacher took the exam. I wanna, I wanna give you guys a sentence. I wanna give you guys another sentence to make. So let's say the teacher took the exam pa papers. How can you say this? Now, exam papers, there's actually a word for that. They say xi hong, xi hong is exam. And then paper, they use the hansa ji. Ji meaning from, from paper. So ji, xi hong ji, literally test papers or exam papers. Xi hong ji. So xi hong ji, and then took. Took, as in took away, you can use kajogada. Kajogada. So the teacher took the exam papers. So, oh, I wanted to check my answer, but ah, oh, the teacher took the exam papers. The teacher totally took the exam papers. Ah, and I'm disappointed. That makes me sad. So how would I say this? Go ahead and give it a try. <laughs> I'm totally going to kill you. Yes. Nathalia says, please have KiCat do dabs. Oh, I just realized I haven't gotten a donation yet. Uh, maybe we can have KiCat do a dab if we want. That's totally a possibility. Uh, let's see. Something uh, Dr. Nutria, 
you took kajo, you just change it to kajo, which is kajida, means to have. The teacher is going to completely have the exam paper. Do you want to use to take it? So take it and go. Kajo kada. Let's see. Otherwise, you would have been the first. But no, it looks like Mary Liz is the first. Shiyamjiru kajo ga borosseyo. Okay, perfect. Sonsengnimi shiyamjiru kajo ga borosseyo. Perfect. Shiyamjiru kajo boru. Shiyamjiru kajo borosseyo. Sonsengnimi shiyamjiru kajo ga borosseyo. Shiyamjiru kajo ga borosseyo. Perfect. Tiffany statement A. Robin Star. Sonsengnimi shiyamjiru kajo borosseyo. Nice, nice. Sonsengnimi shiyamjiru kajo ga borosseyo. J Rose says, I'm going to have to watch this later. I came in too late. Yeah, don't worry. This stream will be uploaded. As soon as it finishes and then give YouTube, YouTube sometimes takes a couple hours to process the video so that it'll show the whole thing. But yeah, you should be able to see it right, uh, within an hour after it's uploaded. Actually, if I stream less than two hours total, then I think YouTube shows the whole thing right away when it's finished. So you might be able to watch it right after it ends. Oh, you guys are all getting it right. Oh yes, Sleet Stalker got one. Kajigo ka okay, you're you're technically okay. Shiyamjiru kajigo kaboryosseyo. Perfect. Yeah, it's it's okay. Kajigo kada is the same as kajo kada. So yeah, everyone got it right. I was hoping that well, I mean I wasn't hoping that, but I was expecting, I should say, I was expecting that there'd be some people get it getting it wrong, but a hundred percent of you had good answers. So Sanseng Nimi, great job everyone. Let me write it down here. Oh, I got a donation. Let me just write this down. Let's see who, who donated. Muku donation. Muku. Two dollar donation. Nice. Thank you. Do you want to see a keycap dab or do you want to see a different kind of dab? Let me know what kind of dab you want to see. While you're while you're writing that, I'm gonna explain this. So Sanseng Nimi, Sanseng Nimi, the teacher, Xiamji, exam papers, did something to the exam papers. What did they do? Kajoka Poroseo. Took the exam papers. And more you can translate it also as took the exam papers away. So the teacher took away the exam papers. Let's see what Buku says. Oh, I think I need a new eraser again. I think it's new eraser time. This one's getting, let's, yeah, let me replace the eraser. Uh oh, I gotta buy some more erasers. I think I have four left. So I'll, I'll use, the, this is the eraser fund. So I can get new erasers. These are pretty cheap though, but I, I go through them once every two weeks, I think. So two lessons, they only, they only last two of these lives because they're so thin. They're like less than a millimeter. Okay, Muku. Okay, you say you don't you don't care. So I'm going to do a uh, dab. Well, KeyCat's going to do a dab. I don't care. So, okay, so KeyCat, let's do a dab. <laughs> okay, that's KeyCat's dab. All right, thank you, Muku. Okay, now let's do the next sentence we have. Um, I left, okay, I didn't eat the orange, so I left the orange, as in I didn't eat it. So we'll talk about that. I left the orange. I'll give you the word, oops, or Because I was full. Now, this sentence, um, <laughs> this sentence was actually made by my three-year-old kid. So uh, take it as whatever, whatever, yeah. Think about that. <laughs> my three-year-old kid made this sentence in Korean. So how would you say this? For left, we're going to do namgida. Namgida is to leave, as in not like to leave a person or leave, like I left you or I left a location, you know, I left the store. As in leave, as in don't take it, don't use it. Just allow it to remain. This is actually the causative form of namta, which means to remain. And namgida is to make or let something remain, literally. But that's how you would say to leave, as in like, I left it there. 
you know, I didn't eat it. I left a comment to leave a comment to leave something be. That's what they use namgida. Actually, to leave something be, they wouldn't use namgida. They would use nebduda or uh, something like that. Okay, so I left the orange because I was so full or because I was full. How would you say this? I left the orange because I was full. Let's see what you guys got. 배불러서 오렌지를 남겨버렸어요. Perfect. I use namta when I talk about time left in my shift. Yes. As in to be left. That's another translation for remain, to be left. As in to be remaining, to be, there's like 10 minutes remaining, there's 10 minutes left. Namgida, if you leave an amount of time, like I left you five minutes to finish the test, but you're probably not going to use Namgida for time. It's used, nam, Namta will be the run you want to use for time. And they'll, they'll use it in a different form. Namaita will be how they'll use, or Namaso if it was left. Pe bulloso, pega bulloso, orenjiru namgyo boreseo. Perfect. Orenjiru kajoga. I'm not sure why you write it. Um, Kajoka for Tieri. Not sure what the Kajoka part, where that came from. I mean, that was from the last sentence we did, but not for this one. Namgyo poreseo. Pebulloso orenjiru namgyo boreseo. Nice, nice. Yeah, namgida is the causative form of namta. That's right. I did a live stream about causative, so let's talk about, let's do this sentence. So I think that's what we'll do. So Wuku gave our first donation, and any donation today will be acted out in dab form by Keycap. So, pega, uh, let's say nomu. I'm just going to add in nomu, bulloso, but you don't have to do that. Bulloso, pega nomu bulloso. Orange Namgida becomes Namgyo. Oops, let me rewrite this part. Pega Domu Puloso, because I am so full, Orange the orange, Namgyo Podosoyo. I left the orange because I was so full. Pega Domu Puloso, Orange Dir, Namgyo Podosoyo. So I just totally left the orange because I was so full. I just left it. I'm so full. I didn't even eat the orange, you know. I'm really hungry and the orange is so delicious. I just left out, left the orange. And the, the reason my kid made this because he loves oranges. So that's why he's like, I'm so full. I just left the orange. Oh, Alex full metal with the double eyes. Alex. All right, let's put Alex. It's my little brother's name. Okay, thanks for the donation. Here's, let's get KeyCat out here. Ignore the scarf. <laughs> Just ignore the scarf color. Okay, KeyCat, you gotta do a donation for the $2 donation. I mean, a dab for the $2 donation. <sighs> gotta put your hands <laughs> up. There we go. There we go, that's, that's the dab. That's the KeyCat dab. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's do the next sentence, actually, which is our final sentence for Porida, and then we'll move on to the next part of today's lesson. Okay, um, I messed up my makeup. Okay, this one, you guys can do it. I know we're not doing too great on time, but who cares? This lesson's not too long anyway. Uh, I messed up, so even if we go long, it'll be like, it'll be done by like 3.30 or 3.45 at the latest. Okay, so I messed up my makeup because I suddenly got a call. Okay, to get a call is 전화, actually I should write this easier to read, 전화가 오다, literally a call comes. That's how you say to get a call, as in, not as in you answer the call, they would say 전화를 받다, to receive a call. Um, 전화를 받았는데, like I received the phone call, I took up the phone to, the, to my ear, that's 받다. 오다 is simply the call comes in, ring, ring, you know. 갑자기 is suddenly, Makeup, you could just use may, make up, if you could read that, I'm not sure, make up, make up, 
because I suddenly got a call and messed up is man chi da. Man chi da is to mess up. To mess up something. Man chossoyo. I messed up something. I messed up everything. You know, not it got messed up, but I messed it up. Man chi da. So I messed up my makeup, makeup, because I suddenly got a call. So, you know, you're doing your makeup. You know, everyone does their makeup like this. And I, I do, I do like basic makeup sometimes when I do my videos. It depends. Uh, they're not, not these days. Just anyway. So I messed up my makeup. So I'm doing my makeup. And suddenly a phone call. Bring. Oh, uh, it startled me. Oh, I messed up my makeup. I messed up my makeup because I suddenly got a call. How would I say this? Bring, bring. 갑자기 전화가 와서 수나 화장을 망해 would be 망하다. That would be a descriptive verb. That's not to mess up something. 망치다 is to mess up something. You're really close though, Suna. Thierry, 전화를 갑자기 전화가. Remember, I said 전화가 right here. Uh, Tiffany stay. 전화를. Oops, again, Tiffany. 전화가. Because 오다 cannot have an object. Ulda is to come. You, you, you can never come as something. It's always something arrives, something comes. So a phone call comes. So it can never be object. Object marker with that. So let's see. Throw away. 갑자기 전화 와서 makeup 망쳐버렸어요. Nice. No, throw away. I think throw away got the first one right. Throw away. You are the... Today, you are number one. Hey! 매일 노력하면 꼭 나아질 거예요. Okay? 전화, 갑자기 전화가 와서 화장품? 화장품 would be your makeup supplies. So you didn't mess up your makeup supplies. You actually messed up your makeup on your face. So you wouldn't want to say 화장품. Unless like you, you suddenly got a phone call and then you just like smashed all your makeup supplies off your desk and they just shattered all over the floor. Like if you have some really crazy, you know, you got really startled. You're just like doing your makeup and then all of a sudden, and then you like destroy all your makeup. Uh, that's probably not what the sentence means though. So yeah, don't use 화장품. Uh, let's see. 갑자기 전화가 와서 메이크업을 망쳐 망. Oh, Noah Deeps, you write you wrote 망치. Remember, it's you have to conjugate it. 망치 will become 망치어, 망치어, 망쳐, 망쳐버렸어요. Okay. 전화. Oh, Thierry also wrote 전화를, but it's not 를. 오다. Okay. 전화가 갑자기 와서 메이크업을 망쳐버렸어요. 아, Louisa, you're so close. You just spelled 망쳐 wrong. You wrote 맘쳐. Like hitting mom. <laughs> 전화가, okay. 따르릉, 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 따르릉. 비켜가세요. 자전거가 나갑니다. 따르릉. 갑자기 전화가 와서 화장을 망쳐버렸다. 아쉽네요. Okay, you can do, yeah, you can do 화장 in the normal word for it. Typically though, when you're doing, when you're just talking about like casually makeup, you just say, they just usually just say makeup, just like in English, makeup. Uh, 화장 is more of the act of doing makeup. So you can like 화장하다 is to do makeup. Um, or 화장 is like the general concept of like the makeup on your face or like makeup anywhere. But, uh, or like the professional word for makeup is 화장. But makeup would just be like your makeup you're doing on your face. So makeup would be a better word in this case than 화장 even. You ever get so angry about getting a phone call at the wrong times, so you just smash everything? Yeah, if you do that, if you smash your hwajang pum, you might have an anger problem. Okay. Emerichi, what does porida mean? I'm so late. You are so late. <laughs> okay. Um, let me give you the sentence that you can use. Okay. 갑자기 전화가 와서 suddenly 전화가, not 전화를, it, cannot, it can never be 를 because you're not doing something to the phone. The phone is coming. The phone is coming. It's like a horror movie, like the phone calls you seven days. And then you like see it, pop, you like see it running up to you. 갑자기 전화가 와서, because I suddenly got a phone call, I messed up, oops, I, met, I wrote this backward. Oh no, this... See, these don't even work. Even the brand new ones don't even work that well. I just need to buy some real erasers. Make up. Mang chao. 
So 망치다 becomes 망쳐 버렸어요. 갑자기 전화가 와서 메이크업을 망쳐 버렸어요. I suddenly got a phone call, therefore, or be due to getting a phone call, I messed up my makeup. And because we're using 버렸어요, and not just saying 망, 망쳤어요, we're like, oh, I totally messed up my makeup, like this. Oh, I totally messed up my makeup because I just got a phone call all of a sudden. So let me check the chat for a second. The phone, the phone is coming. Yeah, I, can, I can already picture the trailer. Be directed by like M Night Shyamalan and Ding Dong, and in the end, it would actually in the at the end there would be like this big twist. It actually wasn't the phone at all. The phone was trying to help you. It was actually the cell phone, your cell phone, and it was like a, it's like a commentary on modern society how like cell phones are like killing human interactions, you know. So it's got this deep meaning to it. Okay, that's everything for Porida. So yay, we are done with Porida for today. Um. Let's see, but we're not done with today's lesson. We still have a few more things we want to cover. Another is how to say to forget. To forget. So how do you say to forget? Well, if you think of forget, a lot of people will just say, oh, you know, the regular verb for to get for the regular verb for to forget is itta. Itta means to forget. Like you'd say, oh, I forgot. Isasoyo. Or we also learned you could attach porida. So you can have ijo porosoyo. Well, in fact, porida gets attached to ita more often than not. So you will see ijo porida almost every time, like nine times out of ten. You will not see ita used by itself as much. You'll see ijo porida used a ton. So it commonly just goes together to say you totally, you, oh, I just totally forgot. It just That's just how the situation goes. When you're saying you forgot something, people tend to, I would say, exaggerate the amount that they're forgetting, like the emotion with it. Usually it's to express an uh, apology. So it just tends to go together with porida because you're saying you forgot something. Oh, you forgot something. If you want to simply say like, oh, this person forgot this or this computer, you know, or this situation, this person forgot this, then you don't have to use it if there's no emotion involved. But most of the time when you're saying you forgot something, you're expressing some sort of disappointment, you know? So it tends to get used with ijo porida whenever you're saying you forgot something. So ijo porida. But this is not the only way to say forget. This is only to forget some sort of information. Like knowledge, knowledge here in my garage. So this is to forget some sort of information as in a person's name, to forget what to do, to forget about an assignment, to forget something happened, you know, to forget any sort of information in here, in your mind. Use your mind, knowledge. But it's not the only way to say forget because as you know, you can also forget something like, you know, I forgot an umbrella. In English, we say, I forgot my umbrella. But in Korean, you cannot say, Usan, umbrella, Usan there, That makes zero sense. That means you forgot about an umbrella. Like, oh, there was an umbrella there. Oh, I forgot about the umbrella. Like that. It doesn't mean you forgot to bring an umbrella. So we're going to talk about those meanings in a second. But first, I have another word for that you can also use, or you might see. So first, we have. There's another one you might see sometimes that you can use, but I would recommend not using this. 잊어 먹다, as in 먹다, to eat. This one has the exact same meaning as 잊어 버리다. And there are some verbs you will see that will end in 먹다 in the same way as 버리다, but it's not the same. You can't switch 버리다 for 먹다 in 99% of cases. There are just a couple verbs that you can, and 있다 is one of them. So 잊어 먹다 has the same meaning as 잊어 버리다, but 잊어 먹다 is more casual. And I would say it's more, more like slangy, in a bad way. So it doesn't sound rude, but it really does not sound polite. Kind of like saying, oh, just like I totally, just totally forgot. Kind of like that. It has more of like a slangy feeling to it. So you might hear your friends say, 잊어 먹었어. 잊어 먹었어. 
Because this is slangy, it's more often just used in casual speech. So, you know, but like I said, you won't, you will not want to say this to your boss. You will not want to say this to strangers or people who you're not really closely acquainted with, but just know that it exists and it's the exact same meaning as but we're not done yet. There's another one. This is super common. This one also ends with mopta. This one's also um, slangy. So just like ijo mokta, this one's also casual and slang, but it's common. Whereas I would say ijo mokta is a little bit less common. Ta mokta is used all the time between friends. So again, never say this to like strangers, never say this to your, like your teacher or something like that. Hold on, let me just check the, uh, how I'm doing on the time. But to your friends, it's totally fine. So, ka mokta, ka mokta, ka mogoso, ah, na ka mogoso, ka mogotta, ka mogotta, ka mogotta. This is used to say as well that you forget about a piece of information. So again, it's not forgot an umbrella. It's not forgot, oh, I forgot to bring my umbrella. I forgot my wallet at home. It is, I forgot about that. Ah, 오늘 시험 있는데. There's a test today. I forgot. I forgot that there's a test today. Ah, I forgot. Completely forgot. So, again, this is also just like the same emotion as porida. Like, oh, I totally forgot. Oh, I totally forgot it. But this is more common version. So, I recommend, I highly recommend using gamokda with your friends, your close friends but not using it with anyone else. So if you're like meeting someone for the first time or you're just finding a new friend to chat with online, ijo borida is the safest option. And you can also use ijo borida with your friends too. It's not, ijo borida is not formal, it's not polite. It just can be polite. It's not, it's not rude or casual by itself. There's another form we're gonna do, and first I just wanna make sure these are clear before I go over another one. Let's see, can I write below this? Yes, I can. Okay, let me just check the chat for a second. Thierry, Thierry wrote our next one actually, yes. Yeah, that's the next one we're doing. Okay, so there's another way to say that you forgot something, but it's different. This is not the same meaning. Kampa. Kampa kada. Kampa kada is also slang. It's common. So it's just, it also means to forget something, like to forget information. But it does not have the same meaning as ijoborida or ijomokta or kamokta. It's a different meaning. How it's different is, kampak is, uh, what would be the word? Onomatopoeia. It's, it's not quite onomatopoeia in English. There's a different word for it. Iteo is the Korean word. But anyway, it's a, sound representation of some sort of action. So, kampak, 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 kampak korida. They have other words in Korean that mean to flash. As in like a light. You know, like street lights or a light or something like that flashes. Kampak korida or kampak. So, kampak kada literally means to flash. It does not mean you totally forgot about something. So, it's not comparable with this one. It means you forgot something for a second. In English, we have a exact we have the exact same expression in English, uh, different way of saying it, but we have the same type of way of saying forget in English, and that's when you say you had a brain fart. So kampakada is the way to say to have a brain fart. To have, since it's a verb, to have a brain fart is kampakada. So when you say you had a brain fart, it doesn't mean you completely forgot about something. It means you momentarily. For a second, you forgot about something like, oh, oh, I had a brain fart. Oh, what was his name? He's my best friend. I've known him for 10 years. Oh, I can't remember his name. That kind of thing. Oh, we have a test today. Oh, that's right. Oh, it's a kampa keso. Oh, I totally forgot. But I knew it, right? I knew the date. I knew what the topic is. I knew I should have studied. I knew which pages it's for. I just totally forgot. I had a momentary forgetting. I, I momentarily forgot about something. I just temporarily, momentarily forgot. 
think this is still on the screen. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, momentarily forget something. So I had a brain fart. Ah, I said brain fart. So this one is also forget, but like I said, it's not for something that you've for completely forgotten about. This is for something you've only temporarily forgotten. If you said kampakada, but then if you're like, oh, what's that person's name? Ah, kampakesso. And they tell you like, oh, that's Steve. And you say, who? That's not kampakada. That's like completely ijoboresso, ijoboresso, gamogosso. So if you completely forget, wanjani, completely, wanjani, ijumyan, wanjani ijoboriman. Just use 잊어버리다 or 까먹다. So if it's something you temporarily forgot, but you will remember it again later, and you knew it before, then use 깜빡하다. So this is not something you forgot completely. Just like a brain fart. You're not going to say you had a brain fart about something you never knew or something you, like, you forgot completely. Like, you know, when you were a kid, um, you used to go hiking at, mount, at this mountain and then you go back there again and, and as, as an adult and you're like, oh, I had a brain fart about this mountain. It makes no sense, right? Zero sense to say that. You say, I forgot. I totally forgot. Right? I forgot about this mountain. But then you're hiking and you're like, your, your brother, your friend's there and they're like, hey, why are you hiking with the stick upside down? And you're like, oops, oops, I had a brain fart. It's supposed to be this way. Ha ha ha. You know, that's the difference. So you'd use gampakada for some sort of momentary forgetfulness, but kamokta or ijoborida for any actual completely forgetting something. So if you actually completely forget something, don't use this. So I just want to be really clear. If you said kampakada on something you completely forgot about, it sounds awkward in Korean, just like it would to say you had a brain fart in English. So yeah, these are the three that mean to forget information. But what if what you're forgetting is not information, but an object. Oh my gosh, see, this is brand new, but it's like leaving streaks. Okay. Maybe I'll just like switch and just use Kleenex or something. Kleenex doesn't leave streaks. Okay. So what if you're forgetting an object? Well, there are two ways to say that you forgot an object. The first one is Noko oda or noko kada, depending on what you want to say. And literally, squeaky, literally what nota means is to put down, to set down, like to put something down on the floor, put something down somewhere, and then to come. So I put some, literally what you're saying, if you're going to say you forgot something, this is an object, to forget an object. Literally, if you're using this form, you are saying, I put an object down somewhere and came here. So it's somewhere else now. I put it down at my house and came here to school where we are right now. Or I'm go I put it down at, at my house and then I left somewhere else. So I left it at home. I forgot it. So in English, we say forgot to also mean to leave it at home. But in Korean, you can't just say forgot to say that. You have to actually say, I put it down and came here. Or I put it down and went somewhere, as in like I left it at home. So for an example, you could say something like, actually, let me switch colors so it's easier to see. So wallet, right? Shikdang is a restaurant, so Shikdang e noko. So I put down the wallet at a restaurant, literally, and then I came here. Wasoyo. Literally, we get I came here, I came leaving at the restaurant my wallet. I left the rest I left the restaurant. I left my wallet at the restaurant and came here. Literally is what we get. So I left my wallet at the restaurant. Ah, oh, I forgot my wallet at the restaurant. Or maybe you're you're describing a different experience when you went somewhere but you left your wallet. You can say I just left it at the wallet. I just left my wallet at the restaurant and left, you know, somewhere else. Or you're talking about your experience right now. I came here having left my wallet 
at the restaurant. So that's how you can say to leave an object is literally to leave it somewhere and then come here or leave it somewhere and then go somewhere else. The next way, there's another way you can say to leave something. As in, uh, to forget something. And there are actually a few different ways to do this, but the basic one is, whoops, actually, let's start with um, oda for, for the first one. An kajo oda or an kajo kada. Now, this literally just means to not an kajo oda, bring. Literally, kajo oda means to take something and come here. <clears throat> so in English, we would say bring. And then kajo kada literally means to take something and go somewhere. And we would say to take, like, can you take it there? Or sometimes you say, can you bring it there, right, in English, anyway. But yeah, to bring something or to take something. So literally, I just didn't bring it here, or I didn't take it there. That's also how you say you forgot something. So no cool da is literally like you left it somewhere. Like I left my umbrella at my house and then I came here. This would just mean I didn't bring my umbrella in the first place. But both of these in English can translate as I forgot. Oh, I forgot my umbrella. Usaner, usan being umbrella. Usaner, umbrella. Chibe, at home. Doku wasoyo. I put my umbrella at home. I put it down at home and came here. I forgot it. Forgot my umbrella. Or, usaner, an kajo wasoyo. Ah, I didn't bring my umbrella. I'm not saying it's left at home. I'm just saying I just didn't bring it here. Maybe it's at my home. Maybe it's at my house. Maybe it's at a restaurant. Who, who knows? I didn't bring here. An kajo wasoyo. Or I didn't bring my umbrella there. I forgot my umbrella. An kajo kasoyo. Though typically when you're saying you forgot something, you're talking about where you are presently. Like right now I forgot something. But you could also use it with kata. That's why I put it second. So kajo oda, doko oda. That's how you say you forgot an object. So I want you guys to make a sentence. Um, one sentence using either doko oda or an kajo oda or kajo oda to say that you forgot an object. Now, you can be as creative with it as you want, or you can be as simple with it as you want if you're still learning. So go ahead and try to make some examples using either of these two forms to say that you forgot something. Now, remember, just like you couldn't use ijo uh, mokta or any of those things with objects, you also cannot use no koda or kajo or whatever with, an, in, with a piece of information. It wouldn't make sense to say, I left my knowledge of that person at home, or I didn't bring my knowledge of that person, right? So it's the vice versa, you can't use it the other way around. So let me check to see what you guys got. And actually after this, we are done with the lesson. So even though uh, first part of the lesson went way over time, the second part is so short. Why is it not shikdang e so? Well, the reason is you're not doing something at the restaurant, you're not doing an action at the restaurant. Anytime you have some sort of action that's taking place at a location, you have to use e so. But if you're just leaving it in a location, as in like something exists at a location, not doing an action at a location, you only use a. For example, if you're saying jibe isoyo, he is at home, that just means he exists at home. He's not doing anything at home, he just is at home. Just the same way as no ko, you're leaving it just located at the restaurant. You're not dancing at the restaurant, you're not singing at the restaurant, you're not eating at the restaurant, that would have to use so. You're simply leaving it as in location-wise, so that's why you only use a. If you were to mistakenly say, it's kind of like while I was at the restaurant, I did the action of putting it down at the restaurant. It's unnecessary. They just use a for any location. Let's see. Nice, Noah Deeps. Okay, hand the phone. Ah, you wrote no go. You want to use no no ko. D E L. Kate Ju, 오늘 식당에서 전화 놓고. Ah, you wrote 식당에서 should be 식당에. <clears throat> and then 전화 just means a phone call. If you want to say your phone, they use hand the phone, like hand phone, hand the phone, which would mean cell phone. Or you can you could say 전화기, but that's like an old ancient telephone. 생일인데 케이크를 안 가져왔어요. Nice, Thierry. I forgot to bring the cake. I did literally. I didn't bring the cake. Perfect. 머리를 안 가져왔어요. I didn't bring my head. Okay. Or without context, it could be like I didn't bring the head. I promised to bring you today. Sorry, I failed you, boss. 
제아 어, D E L you wrote Usan but Usan is umbrella. 내일 집에서 놓고 하는 I left my brain at home. Okay, they don't really use that I leave my brain at home expression in Korean, but I understand what you're trying to say. 도서관에 책을 놓고 왔어요. Nice, Norse K. I left the book at the library. 대학교에 공책을 K. I left my study book at the college. Yes, 핸드폰을 집에 놓고 왔어요. 휴대폰을 K. My mobile phone. 학교에 놓고 집에 왔다. 돌아가야지. I gotta go back home. Nice, Mary Lara. 휴지를 학교에 놓고 왔어요. I left my Kleenex or toilet paper at school. Okay, you have your own personal toilet paper or personal Kleenex. Okay, 학교에 왔는데 아들을 안 가. Um, yeah, it's only for objects, Lou. Uh, people, you'd have to use Tedida. But you wouldn't, I don't think you'd really say I forgot my son at home. I guess you could, like, Tedida. So, Tedigo Kada, or Tedio Kada, sometimes they use that. But typically, though, Tedigo Kada or Oda is for a person, to bring a person. Kajida is only for objects. So, you wouldn't say Kajo Kajida or Kajo Kada for a person. Oh, I got another donation. Let's see. D Mal <laughs> Um Get it? K -k -k? I'm not sure. I'm not sure which expression you're using. Um Sugo Haseo, maybe. Sugo heo. I'm gonna guess you're saying Sugo heo. Cause a lot of the uh, abbreviations. Anyway, first let me write your name up here. DM. Thank you for the donation. I got to give you a dab. Oh, KeyCat's going to give you a dab. Um, a lot of those uh, abbreviations are used by like kids on the internet. So some of them, like the newer ones or less common ones, I'm not too familiar with. But I think that's Sukoheo. So <laughs> I had the dab perfect before. Got to put the nose down. Okay, there we go. <laughs> okay, thanks, D. Okay. I pulled the... Uh, Sarah Le Crenier. It's a. Uh, no, 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 you want to use the object marker, not ka, because iPod is not doing anything. You are doing something to the iPod, which is not bringing it. So iPod. No, I'm going to go to the house. Yes. Uh, I, left my t I today left my cell phone at a restaurant. Hudepon Odinji. Uh, you spelled sleet stalker, you spelled ita, but um, the if I just read it, it's fine, but the spelling would be uh, ita, so you have to change it. Carrie Rich. Ah, che for my is the oi, it's the different spelling for te. Te bojarer kongwane do kwaseo. Nice, I left my hat at the park. Uh, how about verbs? Uh, you'd use nominal, you'd use a nominalization form. So you'd use. We talked about nominalization in a previous live stream, so I'm not going to be able to cover that today. You can use hanen kose, which is sometimes shortened to nin kol. As I also did a live stream about kol, so you can also watch that one too. Kol, and then you'd use itta or ijo borida or something like that. So I forgot the action of doing something. Oh, got another donation. Chris O, oh, 오늘 수업 감사합니다. D mal too, you guessed it right. But yeah, I was just guessing because like I don't use those type of ex types of expressions or hang out in like teenager chat rooms, so I'm not familiar with some of those. But if I just look at it and guess, it's probably sugo. I, I see sugo. Yeah, thanks, Chris. Gotta give you a big dab for that. Chris, oh. So comes out. Yes, thank you for the lesson today and perfect sentence. Thank you for the class today. It's getting key cats. Gotta give another dab. Oh, let's do a dab the other way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, you gotta hold. Yeah, like that. Okay. <sighs> okay. Sweet. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Any other sentences? Okay, I didn't bring Kikat. <clears throat> you can combine them. Well, I totally forgot to bring Kikat today. 오늘은 uh, 한국인 있으면 아, oh, you're just looking for friends. Uh, sleet stalker, you wrote mogul. I'm not sure what you're trying to say. Maybe you're trying to say eat, which in which case you could use this, which I explained. Forgot to eat. Uh, Aurelia 88. 
uh, some spelling mistakes for my, it should be the other a vowel. And then che is not che, it's te. The same as my, the same spelling for te yi. And then chuahadan is also chuahada, not with the strong ch, but the regular chuahada, not chuahada. The rest of your sentence is totally fine. So I'm kind of confused why you got those typos when the rest of your sentence seems fine. 공을 놓고, D-E-L, 놓다, it's the O letter, not O. So you want to switch the vowel. Can I use 놓고다 or 놓고가다 in the same sentence? Well, one means to leave and go somewhere. If you're talking about, I went there, I left it here, and I left it somewhere, and then I went to someone else. But if usually you're talking about right now, I don't have it, then you're talking about here, I came here without it. So oda tends to be used more commonly. But if you had a context, uh, you could say, I forgot my pen today at school. You would say, penner chibe doko kasoyo. And you're talking about a different location at school. Whereas right now I'm at ho right now I'm at the cafe. So I brought it, I didn't bring it to school, so you'd use kasoyo. But if you're talking about here right now, then you'll want you'll want to use oda. 쓰레기를 버리는 것을 걸 잊어 잊었다 잊었어요 잊어버렸어요. Okay, you can kind of do like that. Throw away. Oh, I noticed your name is throw away. Your name is 버리다. You are today's lesson. Throw away. 청소하는 걸 잊어버렸어. 엄마가 화가 날 화가 날 텐데 나 나다 화가 나다 not 화가 하다 but just typo. I still get confused with the sounds. Okay. 숙제를 하는 걸 가슴 유럽 가슴 숙제가 하는 갓 would mean the the Korean traditional hat that's doing homework. So you want to make sure you use called cut is that that tall black hat you know that they wear in the traditional Korean dramas. Those are called cut. So you might have seen the Korean joke like oh my cut, and it has like the big Korean hat. Anyway, one of my designs for my merchandise also has the cut on it. <laughs> Oodle noodles. Heck, I gotta catch up on my Korean. I know nothing. <laughs> 여기는 제 여기는 처음인데. Ah, Mary Lara, you you don't have to say 제 처음인데. You can just say 처음인데. It's my first time. That means my first time in context. 처음인데 진짜 재밌네. 이거 앞으로도 매번 여기 있을 깨요. Okay, and then 깨요 for the as well. Spelling is just one of those 기억 letters, not two of them. So 있을 깨. Spelling is 있을 깨요, but pronunciation is 있을 깨. So spelled though is not, it's not spelled as gay. 향수를 집에 왔어요. 향수를, Leticia, um, I think you mean 놓고 왔어요. You're just missing 놓고. Kate June, 학교에 숙제를, 숙제 놓고 왔어요. Okay, I left the homework at school. Kate June, perfect. 철수가 아기를 부엌에 놓고 왔어요. 철수 left the baby in the kitchen. Okay. 돈을, uh, Sandy Kang, you missed the lesson. You probably came in late because I explained that ita is for knowledge or some sort of information or idea and uh, not for objects like money. All right. So that's pretty much it for today. I just wanted to have look at some of your questions. So thank you for coming again. Just a quick reminder that the outline for today's live stream is posted on Patreon. Well, it will be posted on Patreon within the hour. Uh, there's also a worksheet that's already posted on Patreon that you can see. A worksheet has, I think, eight problems for today's lesson, all about porida. Uh, there's also, again, new merchandise is available. You can find a link in the, in, the, 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 in the video description. So check that out. You don't have to buy anything. Just check it out. I want your opinions. Like, what do you guys think about it? What do you like? Because it's brand new. My first merchandise ever in seven years since starting YouTube. Uh, also, join our Discord if you want updates about next live stream. I think, let me check. I think there's going to be another live stream this Sunday. <clears throat> I don't think this is a weekly skip. Yeah, one, two. Yeah. This next we'll have a live stream. Okay, so check the YouTube tomorrow. There will be another vote for the next lesson that we'll do. And uh, yeah, thanks for coming, everyone. And I will see you again next time. Krum, tamitoba. Here.